Hi, honey. I got new glasses. Aren't they cute? They're really different for me. Um, so I'm still trying to get used to them because they're like kind of that like clear, you know, um, pink that people are, but these are a little bit more like gold. So they're different. I wore them to work tonight. I got off work early. Thank God. I made $26. <laughs> I had a table. I felt really bad for them though, honestly. I think that like they were going through something, but like they cause they asked like what was the cheapest thing but the best thing on the menu. And I think that they were in town like once a month. Like it sounded like she was getting like cancer treatment, but they only tipped me like two dollars on forty-eight. But it's in those moments that I'm just like, you know what? I hope that you guys had a good meal and they did and you know, but like damn, damn. <laughs> Um, and then after tip out, yeah, I walked to 26. Um, that being said, uh, yeah, so, but everyone, these are not Billings. Billings are ready for this yet. Everyone's still like, they're coming into like the really dark framed glasses now. <laughs> Regardless, I like them. Uh, that being said, they look really cute with a pair of hoops. Um, you know it, um, but that being said, I'm home from work early. Haven't been feeling awesome. Not gonna go and enjoy a bevy. Um, that's for sure. So I am going to sit down and do some yoga with you, which I am so excited about. I also have to teach a 5.30 a.m. class tomorrow. So there's that too. Whee! <laughs> All right, that being said, let's ground down into our seat the crown of the head lift up to the sky, relax and release through your jaw, allow yourself just to come into your breath, nice deep inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Go for three more, big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more. One more. yourself just to come back into some normal breath. Always starting off our classes from a space of gratitude. We give gratitude to the universe. The deep weaving of wisdom and knowledge and love. Acknowledging an energy that is greater than us that we are still collectively a part of. We give gratitude to this earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. That we have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. We give gratitude to the indigenous peoples of these lands. The Crow and the Northern Cheyenne, the Salish and the Blackfoot tribes. I was reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. Those thought, word, and deed. We give gratitude for this practice of yoga. So it reminds us that we as human beings are innately good. We are kind and honest, generous and just. We give gratitude for black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice from a space of ahimsa, also known as nonviolent or loving action. We give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage acknowledging our and their trials and triumphs, tribulations, traumas, and transgressions, holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done in order to build a peaceful and loving world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to this evening, you can take the time to do so now. 
Nice deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead and slowly blink open your eyes and start to move some energy down your legs and throughout the tops of your knees, pressing with your palms and acknowledging the fact that you are letting things go from your body as you move and shift things around in your body. Nice deep inhale, arms sweep high to the sky. Exhale, take the hands down to the sides. We haven't done this one for a minute, so sweep that hand up and over, cup onto your ear and fold that ear over towards that shoulder. Sit up nice and tall, maybe ground down through the fingertips. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your head all the way back to your center line. Same thing on that opposite side, fingertips tent beyond the hips and then sweep that opposite hand up and over. Up onto your ears, sit up nice and tall, big inhale here. Exhale, press down through the round of the palms. You continue to pull up through your heart and your chest. Relaxing and releasing from the tips of the fingers all the way to the top of the skull. One more big breath here. Exhale, slowly release. Bring your head all the way back to your center line. Tilt your chin so it looks towards that front upper corner of the room. Relax and release through the jawline. Sometimes I like to take my hands to the front part of the neck and just move things down. And then exhale, tuck your chin all the way down towards your chest. Big compression of your thyroid gland. Try swallowing a couple of times. And slowly bring your chin back to your center line. Hands to the knees, big rolls through the center line, pulling up and in on the low belly to protect the low back and the spine, checking in with any sensations that you're feeling through the nerves within your hips or your legs for four, three, two, and one, and then take it back for four, three, two, and one, bring yourself to your center line, hold on to your knees, inhale, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, roll it back. Inhale, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, roll it back. One more time, inhale, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, roll it back. And then inhale, bring yourself back to your center. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, pull the hands down to the heart line, interlock the fingers, and press the palms out and away from you. As you take the palms high to the sky, roll back and down through the shoulder blades. Let's do a little bit of Kapalbati breath, so little small snaps of the low belly between the navel and the pelvis. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, clear the lungs, and then we snap. Inhale up, exhale, release. <sighs> Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, hands move down to your heart line, interlock your fingers and flex and press the palms out and away from you. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, clear your lungs. <sighs> and then we snap. Inhale up, exhale, release. Take yourself onto your hands and knees. Wrists are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. You swish and sway your hips back and forth, side to side. Checking in with your hips, the stack of the hips, your low belly pulls up and in. Inhale, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, press and pull. Inhale. Heart and chest move forward. As I'm looking, I'm like, ooh, the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence is on my bookshelf. Maybe I'll just dig into that a little bit this week and really start to have a conversation. Anyway, <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I haven't even smoked any weed today. Inhale, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, press and pull. One more time, inhale, heart and chest move forward. Exhale, press and pull. Walk your hands back towards your knees. 
and then let's go ahead and kick the stand or we're gonna just come into a gate pose so take that right leg out to the side press down through the outside edge of the foot try not to grip with the toes wrap your muscles around your bones check in with your hips and then sweep that arm up and over big inhale here Exhale, roll it forward, and then hinge that hip back and come into a one-legged child's pose. That leg is extended. Check in with the outsides of the hips. Draw your fingertips out in front of you. Big inhale here. Exhale slowly. Take your hands right next to your knees to kind of shift yourself forward. Knee pulls underneath your hip. Inhale into your calf. Exhale into your calf. Inhale back into your table. Walk your hands back towards you. Take that opposite leg out. Wrap your muscles around your bones. Check in for little pops. Sweep that arm up and over. Holding yourself here in a gate pose. Grounding down. If you need extra support, you can always like pull on the inside of your thigh just to kind of feel like what it feels like to kind of have like a lift here, right? And try not to collapse too hard into the outside of this hip. Big inhale, exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale, exhale, sweep. Arm comes down in front, take yourself back into that one-legged child, press down through the sole of the foot. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale slowly. Take one hand, kind of stagger the hands and walk yourself up. Drag that knee back underneath your hip and then inhale into your calf. Exhale into your calf. Inhale into calf. Exhale into cat. Tuck the toes, drive the hips back and high. Come into your down dog, press into your palms, pedal out through your feet. Excuse me with the fucking snot, man. So much pressure in your head. <laughs> Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, slowly walk your hands back to meet your feet at the back of the mat and let yourself hang here. Swish and sway back and forth, side to side. Let your head hang super heavy. And then on the next inhale, engage your low belly and sweep yourself all the way up to stand. Exhale, tent the arms, open up through the heart and the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, tent. Inhale up. Exhale, tent. Let's do a little like standing. Eh, we can do another little standing balancing head to knee shit. So go ahead and pick up your right leg. Hover here. Nice deep inhale. Inhale, arms are going to come high. And then take yourself down and over the top of that thigh. Engage your low belly and the hands are going to interlock at the base of the foot. Big inhale here. Exhale, kick into the hands as you pull back through the hip. Flex the toes in towards the face and wrap the muscles around the bones. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, bend down through the elbows if you want to and if you can. Hold. Keep your low belly pulling up and in. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, release the arms, put a bend in the knee and drop the foot. Same thing on that opposite side. Knee lifts. You can always hang out and stay right here. If you want to, arms can come high. Think about still wrapping your muscles around your bones here. Pull in on the low belly and bring yourself down and over the top of the thigh. Interlock the fingers and kick into the hands. Flex the toes back towards the face. Ground down through the ball of the foot. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Exhale, drop down through the elbows. Keep your low belly engaged, big inhale. Exhale, two more, big inhale. Exhale, one more time, big inhale. Exhale, release, bend through the knee, drop down through the foot, inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, dive down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, palms plant, step, step back into your plank. Drop down to the knees, lower all the way down to the belly, hands right next to the bust line and the baby cobra. Big inhale here. Exhale, lower, tuck the toes, press to the knees, send the hips back and high and pedal it out. 
nice deep inhale put a bend in your knees and then hop your feet up to meet your hands and you're gonna drop low where are we okay down into your balasana hands to your heart line open up through your heart and chest here big inhale Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Pull up and in on the low belly. Take your hands way out in front of you. Breathe into the back body. And then shift yourself forward as you lift through the hips. Heel toe your feet right underneath you. Inhale, hands to the shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. Inhale, lift to rise. Exhale, tent the arms. <sighs> Inhale, arms high. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. <sighs> Inhale, flat back. Exhale, palms plant. Step, step back into your plank. Drop down to the knees and then sit bones. Come down to meet the heels. Rock over and onto your seat. And then take both. Actually, take that left leg out to the side, sole the right foot to the inside of the leg, press the leg and the foot together to touch. Leg receives the foot, foot receives the leg, turn the chest towards the top of the foot, and then inhale, arms come high. Exhale, bend and over. Pull the crown of the head towards the top of the foot. Flex here. Imagine the back part of your glute hamstring, just releasing Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale one more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk up that leg. Same thing on that opposite side, take it wide. Sole the foot to the inside of the thigh. Remove or move that seat, don't remove your seat. Move that seat back behind you. Flex the toe back and forth to the face. Sweep the arms high to the sky. And then pull yourself down and over the top of the thigh. Pull the toes back and towards the face and drop down through your elbows. Pull in on the low belly and allow yourself to come over the top of that thigh. Big inhale. Exhale, crown of the head still reaches. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale, last one, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk up that sh shin. Both legs are nice and wide. Lift and shift. Move your seat back behind you. And then take your fingertips out in front of you and allow yourself to come down and over the inside of your thighs. Reaching here. And when you find that resistance, see if you can breathe into that safe space just to soften a little bit more. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk your hands over to that opposite side. You can grab that left hand to the outside of the right foot and turn the chest in towards that leg. Still staying, pulling down through that left hip. Big inhale. Exhale, hold here. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale slowly, move yourself through your center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Flex the toes in towards the face. Grab for the outside of the foot, turn the heart and the chest towards the top of the leg. Allow the space right in between your glute and your hamstring to release and let go. Big inhale. And exhale. Two more big breaths, big inhale. 
and exhale. Last time, big inhale. Exhale slowly, bring yourself all the way back up. Bring yourself back to your center line. Move and lift your seat back behind you and then slowly let your fingertips crawl out in front of you. Fluffing in on the low belly as you grip onto the mat, press down through the heels. Again, let your sit bones spread. Maybe you take your forehead all the way down to the mat or to a block. Maybe you wiggle your toes a little bit. If you want to play with a point in the flex of the foot, you can. Just to identify where you're holding. Three more breaks last here, big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more, big inhale. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk yourself back. Take your hands up underneath your knees. Shimmy your feet together to touch. Rock onto the front part of your sit bones. Your knees can flop out to the side. Legs can be further away from you to open up through the outside of the knees, the outside of the hips. Heels can be closer towards you to open up through the inner part of the groin. And then allow yourself just to float down and over the tops of the thighs. Your forehead aims for the insides of the feet. You can use your elbows to kind of encourage the knees to move down to the floor a little bit more. You do not have to though. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale, last one, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly bring yourself all the way back out. Pop the knees to the center line. Flex the feet, take the legs out in front of you. Move your sit bones back behind you one more time. Flex the toes in towards the face and then inhale, arms high. Exhale down and over. This is a long one, y'all. Oh, big inhale. Apparently I needed this tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Janie. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Keep breathing here, big inhale. Breathe into the back body, in between your shoulder blades. Continue to pull the crown of the head towards the top of the feet, but soften on your exhale. So inhale, find your reach. Exhale, soften and release. Inhale, find your reach. Exhale, soften and release. Slowly walk your hands off your knees and shins. So your seat forward. Take yourself all the way down and onto your back. Coming into your happy baby, grab for the outsides of the feet. You can shift back and forth side to side here a little bit, flex through the feet. Pull down through the low back. You can always bind your big toes with your two piece fingers, shifting back and forth side to side here. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale. Slowly release the legs all the way down to the end of the mat. Let your toes flop out to the side. Palms come down to your sides and palms face up to the sky. Allow yourself just to breathe here. Nice deep inhale. Nice deep exhale. I did order a new deck the other night. You're going to be so proud of me. <laughs> Doing all these things for myself um, in a good way. Because I only want to work in the restaurant industry if I own the restaurant. <laughs> That's for real. That is for real at this point in time. 
Like, that is how I feel. Um, studios, I'm good working for other people still in studios right now. I still feel I got work to do there, but it's all going to come together the way that it should. Sooner than later. All right. Card for us this evening. Hmm. Power over difficulty. Reclaiming your power. Whew. Always coming back to it. I still will come back to this deck though. I really like this deck. This card brings you a warning that there are situations, people or patterns in your life threatening to take over. The snake can be venomous, tempting, or even strangling. This card is an important reminder to be honest with yourself. And investigate your relationships and your daily activities to determine what may be harmful or dishonoring to you or even be consuming you. If someone is bringing a toxic energy in your life, it may be necessary to let that person go or at least reduce your exposure dramatically. If a situation seems to be suffocating you or sapping your sense of freedom and enthusiasm, it's time to rethink your motivation for remaining engaged. And if you're feeling a budding resentment for a job or personal task, this card is telling you to learn how to bring more conscious joy to the experience or even exit it altogether. Also be mindful of all your own personal patterns. Consider the causes of your making and the results they're creating. You don't want to become the snake that eats its own tail, consuming your own life force and sabotaging your own desire to move forward. Yet always remember the indomitable strength of your inner spirit and true life force represented here by the swans who in spite of their gentle beauty are very powerful creatures capable of striking anything that attacks. You have that power as well, and this card is telling you to strike out at your own self-sabotaging patterns and to break free from any limiting influences holding you down. Become conscious and courageous in your ongoing choices. You have the power now. Affirmation. I release toxic people and patterns from my life. I empower myself in my choices and in my relationships. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Again, big inhale and exhale. Jane, take all the time you need this evening. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine and the divine love in you, dear Jane, the collective we and all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me and for trusting me with your body, heart, spirit, and souls. And uh, I say go in peace and remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, everyone. Jane, I love you. I'll talk with you soon.